Hello guys, welcome back to my eyes simple. Long time no see you, I guess. <laughs> okay, now we will talk about uh, respiratory volume and capacity in this graph, which is called spirogram. So, you know, gram is from the graph, and spiro is mean respiratory. Okay, now let's start. Uh, so this graph will will show us uh, what is the volume uh, in when the person is breathing. So, uh, for example, in the normal breathing, the graph will be following like this. It's normal breathing. Like, there will be uh, in the in the, at the time that the volume increase, it means I inhale or exhale. When the volume increase, it means inhale. It means the person inhale the the breathing. So it is inhale. And then exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's the normal breathing. And suddenly the person can take after he inhale, inhale in the normal breath, he can take additional inhalation breath. So it will be like this additional inhalation breath. Okay, and then after that, after inhale, the additional exhalation. So like this. And then normal breathing again. Here, exhale, and then more additional inhalation. Additional inhalation, and then additional exhalation, and then normal breathing again. Okay, that's all. Okay, so uh, so we will define uh, respiratory volume. So there are two types, which is volume and capacity. First, we will talk about the volume. Okay. So the volume. What are the volumes? What are the volumes when the person is uh, doing, uh, is taking a normal breathing? So this is when the person is taking a normal breathing. Okay. Okay. This is what we call a tidal volume. Okay, this is what we call tidal volume. Tidal volume. Okay. Or we can call it TV. And the next is what is uh, the volume when the persons take additional inhalation? This one. Okay. So additional inhalation. This is what we call. Um, Inspirational, inspirator, inspiratory reserve volume. Inspiratory reserve volume. And how about the extra additional uh, exhalation? Uh, this one, right? This is extra additional exhalation. This is what we call uh, ex. Expiratory, expiratory, reserve, full. And actually, uh, this is what we can see in the spirometer. But actually, there is like some uh, residual volume in the lung that we cannot, we cannot comprehend or we cannot measure by the res respirometer. By the spirometer, this one. This volume is always stay in the lung, and we cannot never exhale or exhale even after we we did additional expiration, additional exhalation. We cannot never exhale this volume, and this volume it's called residual volume. Residual volume. Okay, that's all for the volume. So let's do the repeat again. This is the graph when the person take a normal breath. Uh, in, in the increasing graph, it means the person is inhaling, and in the ex, uh, decreasing graph, it means the person is uh, decreasing because the volume is decreased. The volume in his lung is decreased. So, in the decreasing graph, it means the person is exhaling. So this is inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale in the normal breath, and the volume is called tidal volume. Okay. And then next is 
uh, if we take additional inhalation after a normal breath like this something like that and it's called inspiratory reserve volume and after additional inspiration inhalation we can do additional exhalations from the normal breath and it's called expiratory reserve volume and also in the lung there's the volume that cannot be exhaled no matter what we do no matter how hard we try the volume cannot be exhaled and it's called residual residual volume okay so remember there are four volume okay tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume expiratory reserve volume and residual volume okay that's all Please watch the next video about the capacity and also like and subscribe. Thank you.